Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. Our website is thenutritionalhealingcenter.com. And the question is, should I get my gallbladder taken out? So I got to go over some physiology before I answer that. I'll be really quick. And I'm going to go over how um, symptoms are caused by a gallbladder that's being um, congested. So here we have a picture of the liver, the stomach, the gallbladder is right here, small intestine. When you eat food, the food comes through the stomach and um, the gallbladder squeezes and shoots bile into the small intestine to digest the fats, to lubricate the colon. It's also antimicrobial for bad bugs, bad pathogens. The liver makes bile and it sends the bile into the gallbladder where it gets stored and concentrated. Water leaves the gallbladder and the bile inside the gallbladder gets more and more concentrated. Now the problem is the, the bile inside can get more and more concentrated and then congested, congested and then stones form. So that's the pathological process of what happens with the gallbladder. Then you get pain, heartburn, acid reflux, right shoulder pain, mid back pain, right knee pain, conge um, constipation, diarrhea. So there's, these are, there's a lot of symptoms caused by this one gallbladder. So um, the thing to do is to thin the bile, get rid of the stone, and make sure that the uh, flow of bile is good. So what causes it? Sugar, white bread, white pasta, candy, cakes, cookies, pop, junk food, sugar, sugar, sugar. That causes this to go bad. It's not meat, it's not fat, it's not chicken skin. Um, it's the sugar, it's the excess carbs, especially when it's processed and filled with poisons and like chemicals and additives and flavorings and preservatives. So um, if, this is, if there are stones in here, then this supplement will get rid of the stones. It's called fast food. It's been around since the 1950s. It's worked the same way all these decades. Um, it's been ignored by most doctors, but this also gets rid of kidney stones. This is fantastic for getting rid of stones. This is phosphorus, which is the opposite of calcium in the body. So when you take in phosphorus, calcium leaves. And so stones are mostly made out of calcium. And if the stone is like sharp and jagged, it'll get worn down so that it's smooth and round and smaller. It gets dissolved down. When this gallstone leaves the body, there shouldn't be any pain. It just slips through because now it's a round stone. Um, we have other supplements. For example, this is called AF Beta Food. And um, this is made out of beets. Beets exercise the muscular sac of the gallbladder. It also makes it bile thin. If you have stones, I wouldn't recommend this. you got to go with the other one. And then we have Live Tin. And this is an herbal complex. It cleans out all the bile ducts in the liver and the common bile duct of the gallbladder. So these are, there are nutritional um, solutions to gallbladder problems. So should you get your gallbladder taken out? Well, <clears throat> a lot of times we can, it depends on your doctor. And if you know us, we're going to work hard to save your gallbladder. It's a valuable organ. It's necessary. It's, it's, it's helpful. It's good for digestion and you got to have your fats digested by it. If you don't, you end up um, with uh, higher cholesterol, hormonal imbalance, the nervous system isn't fed very well. Um, now, in my history as, as being a clinician, I've only had a couple people have their gallbladder taken out. One woman's gallbladder had a stone the size of the gallbladder. The stone was this big. And after the surgery, the surgeon came out and met the husband and, and was visibly shaken by how big the stone was. And so she needed to get the stone out surgically. But if there's like four or five or even 10 stones in there and they're all small, they're, those can get dissolved and it could take six months or a year. And um, the surgery would be the last resort. So it's up to you what you wanna do. The question is, how good is your doctor? Can your doctor fix it nutritionally? The, the way that some doctors have been doing it for decades and decades, or is your doctor just want to take it out with a knife? So it's always best to um, do the conservative, inexpensive, nutritional way first, and then go with the extreme later, the expensive, the dangerous, do that stuff as a last resort only. So there's my answer to should I get my gallbladder taken out? I hope that helped you. If you need more information from us, contact us at the office and uh, go to our website. You can get an email that way. Take care.